about the cabin that has been coming back to me. Because as you know, Mom and Dad put it into a trust for pretty much all of us. There's few that aren't Rollwitzes <laughs> that will probably let come on up, you know. But <laughs> the trust is pretty much all about um, family. The family. No. And that was always why Dad was up and Mom were up here so much, really doing this for the family. And it was all about a vision that, gosh, sometimes I wasn't sure if it was a vision or a craziness, <laughs> or, both. <laughs> or both, but a lot of it was dad, a lot of it was mom, dad always had the visions of this whole thing pretty much in his head the whole time. Unfortunately, he died before he got to that last project. <laughs> which was always going to happen because there was never a last one. And I think the project took longer and longer, but he always was working on something for, really, so we could all enjoy it. And I know he loved so much in the early days when there was just the backhoe been there, they'd used some dynamite, there was just some dirt, we were digging trying to make that dam, and he loved it so much when everybody would come up, and that's when a lot of my college friends would come, or us siblings with kids. Do we even have kids here? No. <laughs> no. Now look at Not that we know of. <laughs> Not that we know of. Mark, of course, is in on that the whole time. <laughs> he got, and Mark was here pretty much a lot because he lived in the Shasta. But uh, got in a lot of that work, and that all started, I remember, I think you guys got this in 75. I got out of the Navy in 76, and you guys brought me up here right away. And all it was was just a hillside. There was not near as many trees. And Dad said things like, we're going to have a cabin right here, and we're going to have a pond right there, and... And we all said he's nuts. Nobody all said. Well, nobody wanted to say it to him. I think John you, you says he's going to what? <laughs> exactly. Did you, you know. Yeah, he said, John said, he's going to what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the cabin was one thing. The pond kind of was staggering. And also, the grand plan he had was all about the water up here, of course. In fact, we could leave it. We talked about that this morning, yeah. Lee. You know, he knew he oh. had to have or wanted to have water. In fact, he's created a complete oasis here in this little corner of this little valley. And, of course, the grand plan with the Silver Creek and the springs and getting it down here was all part of it. As well as, um, well, I think the vision may have changed a little bit because you guys decided after a while living out of the Shasta, one year. One year. That, that, that yeah. Where the cabin plans changed too, and I, I think everybody knows it, but that originally was a mobile home on out of Fort Forsyth. Mm -hmm. My dad actually had to help the truck bring up and chain on the scout mm -hmm. <laughs> to get it up here. And every, he had, already had that cement. Anybody want to say something there? Anybody every everything came up on the scout, or in the scout, or on the scout. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> everything. Racks to bring up all the lumber. So yep. that he, because it was, the lumber was longer than the scout, so he'd build racks so that it would go out the front and out the back. Yeah. It was a short scout. <laughs> yeah, we built the rafters in the in the garage in Billings and right. hauled them up on top of the scout. Yeah, the scout would go like, down this <laughs> down the road. <laughs> the furniture even was, he'd bring up furniture Mattress on top. Mattress yeah. came up on my yeah. 
The what? A mattress. A mattress came up on your head. That's right. Well, I think. Hi, Mark. That's when you guys decided at least get the trailer house up here, as they were called in those days. And of course, since then, he's taken off all the skin off the outside. Put new stuff on the on the outside, and then on the inside, it's. I think there's still some original stuff in there, but a lot inside, of inside, but outside except the back door, everything has changed. Yeah. Everything is new. Uh, windows, uh, more insulation as he went. Yeah. yeah, everything. The foundation he cemented it in. <laughs> so then, uh, of course, the roof came off the metal, and then regular roof. And now, thanks to Nick and his. Expertise with our metal roof on it. That's so, nice. Woo, just, that's just Where's Nick at? Here. Lee said this, or Ian said this morning, can I go on the roof still? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I don't know, I think it's slipper than it used to be. Yes. <laughs> but you better ask Nick. Let me get the camera ready you know, and go just, on up. I said it rained yesterday. <laughs> we could have washed the dust and stuff off, so it might be pretty sticky. <laughs> but there's dust and dirt up there, yeah. You want to be careful. So there you go, ladies. <laughs> These bald I think cabinet. the thing yep. that do was always staggering to me was the amount of concrete he put up here because he planned on this staying here for a long, long time. That concrete is thick and it's heavily reinforced. <laughs> he put some funny at him. <laughs> I was looking and I'm like, yeah, there is a lot of concrete. <laughs> there is a lot of concrete, and as you look or walk around, you see that it's not just the concrete, but all the rock work, and how it all kind of makes this tiered, obviously, but it's all in the water, but there's just been years and years of that, and along with many good trips up here by everybody. So I see a lot of people who basically grew up up here. So if you don't rock up the walls, you lose your landings. Kids slide down them or the rain and stuff. So that's why it's some of the rock walls to keep it. Yeah. 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 That's right. Into we flower thought, beds just so we could bring sod up here. <laughs> we thought he liked to garden. He just wanted the sod up here. <laughs> so. Yeah, last night we couldn't mow, obviously. That's my excuse. It was raining. This morning I was looking at Dad would probably want us to mow this. We didn't do we it. We did mow it. <laughs> but it rained too much. This morning. I know. <laughs> yeah, I got that lawn tractor in Minnesota, and I've always said I don't need to bring it because we don't have much lawn. But I realize now maybe it'd be okay to have a lawn tractor. Yeah. yeah. Um, some of the other things I think about, I go back to that water at the time that he built. If I'm not mistaken, you had he had the water in and you had the trailer, but it wasn't all connected. Or did the trailer go in and then he finished the spring up there? Um, well, I don't know for sure. I do know that that first Easter, the trailer was sitting there. It had no water in it, no electricity in it. No refrigerator, and we had 30 people for dinner that day. <laughs> and Mac and Terry were both here. Yeah. And um, tents. Tents on the front lawn. Tents and it lawn. Snowed. <laughs> well, dirt. But they were both here to, that first, and we'd only had the trailer up here about a month. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the first and Jean Easter. brought my mom and Pat's mom up for dinner. Whoa. And, and, and everybody and used were, white styrofoam coolers. And the whole back yeah. of the trailer had white styrofoam coolers lined up. <laughs> yeah, so. no refrigerator. Mm -hmm. uh, and we were getting water just carrying it from right up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, we weren't we were drinking it. Right. We didn't know at the time yeah. that we shouldn't be drinking the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We only peed in it once. Whole, <laughs> <laughs> we worked the whole summer on the, the yeah, lines. Bring yeah, bringing the water down. <laughs> I remember the helping him pour summer. that cement up there on the dam. He had the... Water running to the other side. We yeah, we were in our. We carried cement and forms and everything all the way up there to make that dam. Yeah. You guys 
guys got in on the cement. Just a we went there yesterday, small portion. and I remember now, if you think about it, we laid, he laid that right on rock at the bottom of the dam. I think so. Because yesterday when we went up there, Pedro learned that there's no easy walk around here. <laughs> uh, that cement is solid, it's not leaned, it's mm -hmm. not... This leak underneath it, it's, it's there for a long time. Well, I didn't see the frisbee there, dude. There was a problem. <laughs> And the other thing, there's so many things that you did that you just can't believe. Now, I know it needs rebuilding. The bridge behind us going over to the Duke place is done. Yeah. Although we went across the bridge yesterday that's right up here. And there's a couple slats that are broken, but it's solid as a rock. Mm -hmm. We built this stuff. And again, he wanted us to come up and help and be here, and we did. And many times, Mom and Dad would do all the work, and then we'd show up and just party and leave. Oh, no. You yeah. got in on it, too. You <laughs> got in it, too. Well, I remember when we first got the land, I don't know where we were looking at it. For some reason, Pat wanted me and I to measure where it was going to go over there. He was working. I don't know why he didn't do it himself, but anyway. He gave us a plain old compass, not, you know, and I think a 50-foot tape measure. 100 foot, I think. And, you know, there's, there's a <laughs> marker up there, and we started up there, and I had the compass, made sure Pat uh, leave us going straight, and he'd get down to that 50-foot, you know, and, and then I'd go down there, and we'd start over, and I don't know how he trusted it. 14 or 15 year old kid and his <laughs> wife to do it. But when we got done, and you know, it, it, gullies and creeks to go yeah. around and uh -huh. trees to go around, we ended up five foot thickly. Something like that. <laughs> from where the, they surveyed it and put in the state. Uh, uh, we did it. I, I couldn't believe we ever did it. Uh, uh. We were using Mike's, Mike's Boy Scout compass. <laughs> us to do it. <laughs> but he wanted to know how long it was, I think, down from there. He had to estimate how much line to put in. I suppose. I suppose right? No, I think it was had something to do with the property. Well, if we ever have water problems, it'll be out there a ways. I see the hose looks pretty good, too. But we'll just fix it right back up. Because we know how to do it now, I think. Um, what else is it? Oh, the outhouse is famous. <laughs> the best story I have is, Dad, how long was it before we had hot water, after we had water and electricity? It was a while. Seven or eight years? <laughs> no, maybe not quite that much, yeah. but I don't know. Mac, you didn't have hot water up here, did you? No. Did you? I lived in the Shasta. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't have a shower. I know that, because you showered over at the mine. Yeah. <clears throat> you did. I forgot that. Yeah. A couple of times I showered with some cute girls, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Friends of Mike and... Yeah. Oh, no, no, don't give me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was Terry. Those were the early days. Mike! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we told Mac he could uh, stay up here if... Pat told him if he get the fish and kept the dogs from chasing the deer. Oh, I did that. Oh. We uh -huh. went through... <laughs> Yeah, one of them at he least. Guilty, and he took the dog down to the neighbor and said, here's your dog, he was chasing the deer. <laughs> that was Daigley. Daigley, oh yeah. Daigley. He yeah. still hasn't forgiven me, I think. <laughs> but who had enough courage to say, here's your dog I shot at? Oh, so see, Terry and Matt have been on this for the start. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's all sorts of funny things that went on. The time the dog that uh, forgave me. Lee and I got up and met... Mark Wells, I think, was, Pat was working on the roof and had it wide open and we had one of these fast storms. And uh, so we had a tarp handy, but we, uh, they got all up there and it was still blowing one corner and I got up there.
Mark II, and he said, you get down from here. You can't do this. I said, oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> we held all four corners down so it quit raining. But we got water in the um, fixture in the kitchen. Oh, oh, I remember that. Because uh -huh. I hear a lot but of this He didn't want his phone. wife up there. <laughs> yeah. He didn't want his wife up there. It might be dangerous, you know, but it was all right for them up there. Oh, yeah. Well, we certainly want to say thank you, Mom, for all this that you've given us. And Yay, Mom! Yeah, very good. We love you! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll all had a party. And that'll keep this family together, there's no doubt. I hope so. <laughs> but I've got, I don't know if anybody noticed the frame up there. Everybody's probably wondering, what in the world is that? Half pound, this survey. When you, the miners were claiming, you know, and it was a corner of a mining claim, way over there somewhere, and he brought it back, and I've had it all these years, 40 years or whatever, it was early on, and I didn't know where to put it, and I always put it somewhere, and the kids didn't know what it was, or let alone where it was, and the other day I decided to get it framed, and Kathy helped me go out to Michael's and get it framed. They didn't do a real good job on it, but um, then I framed the last registration of the Shasta to know when it was brought up. Like somewhere I have a, the registration for just the one day trip that we brought it up. And when I find it, I'll put it in instead. But of course, they're going on the wall so everybody knows that's history. And I want everybody to know it. The bottle up there, John Law found way over there too in a dump, an old dump site. And it's been in the bathroom all these years. We'll go back there after today. So everybody has been in on this. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't want these mm -hmm. young ones to get bored. Like, oh, I'm watching you now. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> but I want these kids were raised up here. That's right. Um, every weekend, <coughs> up they came and they helped. They hauled rocks and, and helped get the wood and. After they got a little older, we didn't make them do it when they were little, but, <laughs> but um, yes, they were raised here. Well, Patrick thinks I'm looking at him now. <laughs> I just want you young, younger ones to know that this property, this cabin, is also for you guys. But you might have to help work, work too, when you get a little bit bigger. Not much bigger. <laughs> this guy's bigger. Everybody's got to help. Mm -hmm. I mean, too tomorrow. Awesome. <laughs> Trust. That's how the trust breeds. Uh, retreat and enjoyment for the descendants of that. And that's a very wonderful thing. And again, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now, Nick helped the original grit, uh, grit. Him and they come up with the couples every year. And they always was doing something. The left year they built the bridge. That might have been the first project. And it was a surprise. And that was the first yes, part of it. No Nobody idea. knew. And we went right up the road and didn't even see it when we went by. <laughs> Pat opened the windows and, and he said, oh my gosh, come look. And it was a bridge. I can imagine look on his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> they always done something. They put in new windows for us and well, I don't know what all they've done. But anyway, they always did something. And the girls always make something new for the cabin or something. So, you know, it's just not family either. It's, That's right. You know, so, so, That's right. Yeah. You want to read a few words? Yeah. All I want to read is the Irish blessing. I like it very, very much. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your field. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. And I hope that, that applies to everybody. Yep. Mm -hmm. I hope like everybody. Well, he likes it. He likes it. And I hope everybody has <coughs> these things. Kathy's going to say something to you? Yeah, but I'm not going to hear you. Jeff taught me strong small values. She lived by those values. He taught me personal responsibility, honesty, and trust. He taught me the meaning of work. He taught me how to have fun and to laugh. 
He taught me how to fish and hunt. He never let me know that a girl has limitations. Dad always put his family first. And I am beyond thankful for all that he did for us. It wasn't until I was older that I realized the importance of family. Family's always there for each other. He worked hard to build a life for my family, and he was an amazing role model. Dad, thank you. Thank you for always being there for me and always encouraging me. Thank you for teaching me right from wrong. Oh, sorry. That's Aww. okay. <laughs> I chose a rock because Dad was solid as a rock. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I just put a few words on it because I can't talk either. But the words that I chose were honest, hardworking, helpful, intelligent, and frugal. Very good. Mm. Now where does that go? That goes over here. After we put over here. him down, we'll put it over there and we'll see how weatherproof it is and when it and if it deteriorates, I'll make it Another one. Did you bold the frugal? <laughs> <laughs> Underline it? No. <laughs> I didn't. Frugal, but I didn't spend one. any money on this. <laughs> Good for you. That's it. I'm Pat's frugal. Proud. He taught me how to be frugal. Pat, That's why there's a great many recycled things. And there's the, as I've heard it called lately, the warehouse over here. Hardware store. Hardware store. Yeah, yeah the hardware <laughs> store. I always call it the graveyard. Oh, the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go look for it. Everything in there is useful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no you don't know yet, away, but you know? it will be. That's right. <laughs> and Doris, you've got Okay, something. I have a poem or whatever you want to call it, and it was either on my grandson's obituary or parents, I don't remember, but just forget if you can that I ever frowned and only remember the smile. Forget unkind words I have spoken. Remember the good that I have done. Forget that I ever had heartache and remember I've had loads of fun. Forget that I've stumbled and blundered and sometimes fell by the way. Remember I have fought some hard battles and won ere the close of the day. Then forget to grieve for my going. I would not have you sad for a day. But in summer, just gather some flowers and remember the place where I lay. And come in the shade of the evening when the sun paints the sky in the west. Stand for a few moments beside me and remember only my best. Very good. Oh, good. Very nice. Good. Lee, are you going to say anything? I forgot to say mine. Everybody listener, you'll be aware in it. <laughs> No. <laughs> it was only about here. <laughs> what do you have to do for an outhouse? You have to dig a hole, right? And I dug I dug the first one with, with somebody else. And there's no dirt up here. There's only rocks. There's only oh. rocks. You dig about six oh. inches and you hit a rock or two or yeah. four. Yeah. Do you see these so. rocks? <clears throat> I want to talk to Pat, <laughs> yeah. that's okay. Pat, how's the fishing up there, bud? 
Uh, Patrick and the whole family were like a second family to me. Yeah. And they gave me shelter and love, lots of food. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. You're welcome. <laughs> and I just wanted to point out, Pat, look what you've done. Yeah, that's right. You should be very proud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the, the kids that come from Bozeman, and I accidentally always. <laughs> and Thank you, Gene. It was much appreciated. <laughs> but I'm honored to be here today, and I'm honored to call you all my friends. Was it Mike up here? He always come home with something, didn't he? Always. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Bars. Oh yeah. Bars. Bars. <laughs> we remember the bars. We're not talking about whiskey bars, <laughs> gooey oh, bars. Yeah, yeah. I remember all the wheel bars that took to get that dam. <laughs> oh, yeah. John, Pat was down in there. Clearing up here. Yeah. Walt, Walt, down 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 Walt down was down. Yeah. 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 Walt. Uh -huh. We got pictures of Walt down there. Yeah. This amp. This amp. <laughs> I was looking this morning, and it's always been hard to see how deep that end is. Well, and I wonder how much sediment is coming in. There is sediment that comes in this little area. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Deep as they originally dug it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everything from there come down here in the wheelbarrow. But Jeff, you're uh, laid there on that rock, and he had a lot of fish. Fish talker. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> the fish whisperer. Fed, uh, fed them pancakes yeah. because they were poor, starved to death fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I fed them just pancakes. They wouldn't eat it. And they ate it. <laughs> oh, I give up. <laughs> I can relate to that. Yeah. 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 Hey, boy.
I kept an eye on him all the time he was out there cutting things because I was worried because those were heavy pieces. Yeah. Oh, they were huge. Yeah. Oh, God, that tree was huge around. Take it back to the alley and put it in the truck and bring it home and, yeah. and unload it and carry it into the garage and split it. And, yeah. Well, he sure taught me no project is too big. That's true. <laughs> I remember one time we had two huge down trees up up mountain, and my kids, he would cut and they would roll them down. We missed the cabin by a little bit, <laughs> but Aaron, Jason, and Adam rolled the firewood for that year down that mountain. And it's surprising that we lived through that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, dear me. Yeah. Anybody else want to say anything? I can remember sitting in your dad's office down at the fire station when he was the fire chief, wasn't he? Marshal. Uh, fire Marshal. And you had a picture of the MF, MVS Thoros. Oh, yeah, MSV, MSV Thoros. Thoros. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which was oh, a firefighting my. rig on the North Sea. Yeah. And Bones, you were out there, and I remember your dad being so proud of you out yeah, running I was the on North Sea. Praying all the time there was never a real oil fire. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. right. yeah. Don't think somebody else would be praying for <laughs> I don't do things like that anymore. <laughs> no, we just tried to burn down our own farm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Enough on that one. <laughs> well, again, okay. thank you both mom and dad for everything. Oh, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. I just want to say about Granddad, so much of the, the lessons I learned from him were, were subtle, subtle lessons that I'm <laughs> only now kind of realized it was just like just the way he lived his life and the way you know, he conducted himself I have to look back and realize that there was, that there was you know, fishing or cutting firewood or building things or you know whatever he was doing it was all just the deliberate way he did it what aspired to that it was very inspiring to look back and what he did yep very nice yeah he set by example not preaching that's right. He taught me all about leverage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he ever lifted too much, but boy, he could lever it wherever he wanted. It. Yeah. And putting sheetrock on the um, ceiling with his head. <laughs> oh yeah, he Surgery did Surgery to do that one on that one. <laughs> that one we remember but that. He did it. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I don't want to say except we're going to miss you, Dad, and, but you're with us every day. Always with us. And he worked two jobs so I could stay home with you kids right. and raise you until you were in school, well in school. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I could take care of the kids. Yep. Two jobs. And one day you said to me, Mom, how long it been since I saw Dad? And we figured it out. He was a long shift, and this and that had been over a week. Yeah. And I said, I'm going to work. Oh, yeah. And How old was Lee then, though? Oh, about the second grade, mm -hmm. if I remember right. First or second, yeah. First so he worked second. for the fire department until he was 18. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, yeah, or not. You do? I made sure we saved it. Thanks, Lee. I had forgotten that too, Thaddeus, or Austin, yeah. That's my job, be annoying. I got it out. I got it out. Okay. And then I have some ashes, and we're not sure how that's going to work, but we think this summer, uh, Ian and I will put some, and Terry will put some ashes on the headwaters of the Yellowstone and the Yellowstone Park. Nice. Cool. Who's going to carry that? Ian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's just a little one, and it's not too heavy. All right. <laughs> Video.